today we'll be testing the Nexon Enfera SUR4G tire. Uh, it's a bit of a mouthful, but honestly, once you have given it a try, it is a great tire. So, uh, what I've done is, um, well, first up, we have the car now fitted with the uh, 17 8.5 inch Rexer RP10X wheel. Um, so this wheel is actually a collaboration between Rexer, myself and McClubs. So we came up with a specific or ideal specification for the 86 and um, if you look at the car, the fitment is just perfect. I've paired it with 245 40 17 Nexon tires. Um, so, again, thank you, Nexon, for giving us a set of tires to actually test and evaluate. This is my first actual drive uh, with the tires. Um, along the way to Datuk Sago, I think the car feels really composed. Um, the tires are actually a great road tire as well. So they are classified as UHP tires, has a trade wear of 200. Um, it does feel very aggressive. Um, so impact feel is a bit on the higher side. Um, but again, I think it's well rounded. Um, what you, what I found is actually the uh, tire noise, which is relatively high. But if you look at the design of the tire itself, it is very, very aggressive. So you have very big blocks uh, on the inside and on the outer edge of the tire. The bigger blocks reduces the deflection on the tire blocks that gives you a better direct feel uh, on the steering uh, and of course grip you know overall grip so we'll try it out on track but basically on the road drive here it's been um, that the tires are again as I mentioned very aggressive they do feel way stiffer but still well rounded what what um, really highlighted the whole thing was again the tire noise as I mentioned but other than that, I think it is a great fit to the 86 and of course our wheels. Um, in terms of clearance, no issues, there's no rubbing whatsoever. So a 17 8.5 with 245 tires seem to be a very well matched setup. And I'm looking forward to driving it on the circuit. So let me share with you my experience with the Nexon Enfera SUR4G. 
what I found is um, there is actually a lot of grip available from this tire so especially mid corner so you can actually charge into the corner carry a lot of speed and it hardly washes out so I get a bit of understeer in the 86 which is nice um, so that the car is not nervous and you can actually work it hard into the corner uh, without losing that exit line out the bend I think in terms of steering feel uh, the car feels great um, steering effort is high which I personally like um, not too light that gives me a good feedback uh, from the steering wheel off center I know exactly where the wheels are pointing and the best part is when the tires are actually loaded up you still get a lot of response from the front end even though when the tires have already reached its limit the character of the car has changed slightly too um, where my car used to be a lot more progressive at the limit uh, but we were on high performance tires or HP tires and these are now classified as UHPs um, it's become a bit more edgy at the limit so you've got a lot of grip uh, on side load and on uh, acceleration um, but when you pass that limit then the car tends to snap slightly um, so I think this is a character from this tire because it does produce a lot of mid corner grip but then again it's still you know it's still manageable it's really nice to drive at the limit so you know exactly what the tires are doing at uh, all times in terms of braking these tires gives you a lot of confidence where late it really basically it loves late braking so that allows you to actually carry a lot of speed brake late heading into the corner hardly any wheel slip and um, basically at certain turns here especially the high speed turns I was kind of overdriving it too because it just gives you so much confidence to push it hard and um, that uh, progressiveness is still there I did mention that it's a bit snappy but then again I mean in terms that snappiness comes from the amount of grip the tire actually produces so all in all I still feel that it is very progressive at the limit it is actually also easy to drive at the limit uh, but you have to be careful once you do pass it. I mean, that means when you overdrive it too much.